I think this film is different from other Be Yourself films. It's more than that. It's about being yourself and expressing yourself, but also knowing that you, there's always more to learn about yourself and everyone has to go on their own journey. And I think by the end of this movie, even Stargirl learned a big thing about herself and she seems like she knows herself more than anyone. Yes, it was really fun, the whole musical side of the movie. And I actually wrote a song for one of the soundtracks that plays during the credits. So stay seated for the credits. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, not everyone could come last night. So like some of these people I haven't seen almost since we filmed. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited for people to see it as well. It's an important thing for everyone to hear. I think it's something that everybody needs to learn at some point. And it's the importance of you know, everybody wants to fit in, but it's the importance of keeping yourself, keeping staying, staying true to yourself while fitting in. And, I mean, my character Leo, he chose fitting in um, over being himself, and Stargirl was the opposite, so, yeah, it kind of shows everything. I, I learned how to play the ukulele, yeah. <laughs> I played guitar before, so it was pretty easy to pick up, but, yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> I'm excited for people uh, to see the movie for the first time. People who haven't been able to see it yet. I've been waiting for so long for this to happen. I can't wait. Sam. I'm really happy to be here because this story means so very much to me for a number of reasons. Uh, the book uh, was read by all four of my daughters, who when I called and said this is an opportunity for me, they said, I bet you didn't read the book yet. I said, I have not. They said, well, guess what? You're doing the movie. Um, you know, this is a, a story of inspiration, of wonder, uh, of enchantment, of being excited about life. So many of our young people today are so concerned about our world and our universe. And here we have a character who is filled up with infinite wisdom that youth have and is not afraid to express it. So for me to be here is very special. I had to be here for this premiere. I'm shooting in another country and I flew back to be here just to support this film and Disney who was so wise in their decision to make it. Grace is really wonderful and she does beat to her own drum. And I think that speaks to self-confidence and speaks to uh, the way she was raised and speaks to the vibrations that she's pulling from the universe. Some of that joy and wonder we all need to have in our lives. So I'm really happy for her. Have looked back at America's Got Talent and the things that she's won and her playing and her voice is so very special and her eyes sparkle and oh to be young again and to be so excited about life. I'm excited for them to really see a story that exemplifies what they once had and maybe have let pieces of it go throughout their life and to be reminded that to be in wonder about our world no matter where it's at and to make a choice about being the solution and being positive and spreading light is a choice that's worth making. Yeah, I think the great thing about this job, and I've been very privileged in my career to feel this way a lot of times, is that I'm very proud of Stargirl and I'm really proud of what we made. So it's nice, you know, you spend two, two and a half months in Albuquerque, you know, in the cold or in the rain or in the blazing heat, trying to make this film. And, you know, there can be tough times, there can be really exciting times, but at the end, it's like so nice to take a beat to celebrate it and, I don't know, just toast to what we made. I think what's really great about this film is it's such a relevant message and a relevant theme, which is just teens tackling their identity and what it means to be themselves and embracing that and what it means to uh, tackle adversity to who you are. And I think it's really beautiful to see these characters uh, go through that journey. When I read this script and I had seen what Kristen, Jordan, and Julia had done, it was so, it was such an honest uh, description of what it's like to be a teenager in America right now. And I think that's what people are going to like the most. It's a darling movie. I'm a huge fan of the book by Jerry Spinelli, Stargirl, and Julia Hart did a lovely job with this movie, so it's thrilling to be part of it. Oh, yeah, it feels like the music is, yeah, it, it's seamless. It's part of the message. Um, Grace Vanderwall, her music and her voice is irresistible, so it feels like it was just perfect casting for who Stargirl is. It feels almost like an indie that Disney produced and I think the message um, and also Grace's singing is so good. I mean they're going to love it, anybody who's a fan of hers. But it was just wonderful to see them work and I think the respect that they have for the material and knowing and like Jerry Spinelli is here and so like they were so excited to see him. Um, yeah, it's, I, it's fantastic, you know like we need a movie like this right now, we really honestly do. It's theme, it's, it's acceptance. 
you know, it's about people just being who they are and accepting people as they are and knowing that they have value. And I think it's the perfect time for, a, you know, a theme like that being pushed out into the world where it's like, you know, we're all interconnected and we all have an effect on one another's life. And, um, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's a sweet story. It's very exciting. You know, obviously it's a movie most people will watch at home with their families, so it's really fun to get this big, special, old-school Hollywood night to celebrate it together at this amazing theater that I've been coming to since I was a little girl. It's a dream. When I first read the script and read the book, the first song that popped into my head was Be True to Your School. It just felt like such a Stargirl anthem. And uh, I still can't believe it's actually in the movie. It's sort of surreal. I hope that people finish the movie feeling a little bit better and a little more hopeful. Uh, the young people in this movie are so phenomenal and they all totally fell in love with each other making the movie and I think it shows and they give me a lot of hope. To me, it's neither a book nor a movie, it's a story. Uh, and it's a story that I wrote and what happens to it beyond that uh, that's that's in the hands of of the gods uh, so I'm just happy to get that story whether it's in the hands of a reader or a stage play or a film uh, just to get the story around so uh, this is part of that deal and I couldn't be happier yes I mean it's so fulfilling that we get to bring Jerry Spinelli's beautiful classic novel to the screen finally and it's amazing how universal and timeless it is it's still just as relevant if not more actually and i'm excited that we're bringing at a very kind of at a very um curious time in our in our world where people are having a lot of fear and anxiety about different things that this movie really brings people a lot of hope and a lot of reassurance and a lot of like reminding us about the power of humanity and keeping our humanity intact while we move through challenges. So I'm happy we get to bring this movie to the people right now. Yes. Well, music is the, is like, it's the poetry of the heart. So it makes perfect sense that Stargirl who really embodies true heartfeltness because she's a girl who doesn't judge other people and she doesn't judge herself, which is really antithetical to being a teenager or a human being really. But this is a girl who was really, is raised, you know, going to homeschool and sees the world in a different way. She sees it more with curiosity than judgment. And she has an innocence to her that should never be mistaken for naivete. She's actually very worldly and very wise, but she has a sweet, kindness, innocent quality to her that I think we could all use a dose of right now. I mean, I'm very excited for people to discover Grace Vanderwall as an actress and Graham Verscheer as Leo. I think they both are incredible and people will be blown away by their performances. They embody these characters, the essence of these characters so beautifully and their their chemistry together is just so, it's so crackly and exciting and, and also really moving and emotional and they go through real journeys in this movie that, that causes them to grow in very profound ways and it's also just a fun movie and it's beautiful to watch, it's really shot beautifully. I think there's so many reasons to watch Stargirl. Uh, my daughter is. I, I got my daughter a ukulele. Actually, Grace gave me a, a ukulele to give to my daughter, so she's taken up the ukulele. So I'm living vicariously through my daughter. This movie was, I mean, in very a very literal way, like a very uh, uh, very family environment. I mean, my wife uh, is the director. We um, we did a lot. We co-wrote the script with Kristen and. Um, there was a very family environment, you know, with our work, and then just that really extended out to set with all the kids that are in the movie. Um, and it's really great to, to see them all again. It's kind of like a high school reunion. It's nice. Yeah. Seeing someone sing on camera is, um, is just, it always kind of like makes your heart beat a little bit faster and um, puts a smile on your face if it's done right. So uh, it just, it, it adds to the... Um, the specialness of the movie and then having someone like Grace who's just such an incredible musician um, really just elevates the entire thing. No one could be more excited than we are because it's you know it's been it's been a long journey but totally worth the wait. I think the message is to be true to yourself and let others follow you as opposed to conforming to the pack 
And I think that's what Jerry wrote beautifully in the book. And I think Julia and the adaptation and the actors that we chose and Disney as our partner kind of make that very clear. Well, I mean, we were so lucky. And I have to give Lee credit because casting Grace was really his idea. He was, he from the moment he heard her on America's Got Talent, he was like, we have to put Grace in this movie. And um, Julia and and um, I, I think Kristen and everyone who worked on the script um, came up with such great ideas for music that you know both Grace and Graham I think embraced and performed beautifully and then having you know Grace write a song for us couldn't be happier. And it was Julia. Julia really brought a musical element to it. Great. Grace brought the natural talent of if you if you want me to sing I'll sing and Julia figure out a way to organically weave it into the story, which is beautiful. Well, I mean, I think for people who read the book and because it's required reading in schools, I think it's um, it's sort of a testament to the um, evergreen quality of the material and the story itself that, you know, it resonates um, with all audiences. Um, and so we're excited that people are going to get to see this finally and um, couldn't be happier about this premiering on the Disney streaming service. Welcome to the world premiere of Disney's Stargirl! Now ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the Hollywood High School Spirit Squad! to the stage. 